Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of the many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle forwards to get moving. This part of the S-Bahn Central Schweiz, Luzern zur See, runs for roughly 25 kilometers runs commuter services between Luzern and Suasi. This particular train is the SBB R8523 electric multiple unit in SBB livery and consists of four cars. You've only explored a small area, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to S-Bahn Zentralschweiz, Luzern to Suasi. Take control of SBB's RABE 523 EMU in central Switzerland. 
and learn ETCS Level 0 and Level 1 on this standard gauge route. Take passengers along the shores of beautiful Lake Zempach, past the imposing Chateau Gutsch and Reusstopf Bridge, and park up for the night at Luzern Depot. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, refill newspaper stands, repair broken bikes, and put up posters. This is S-Bahn Zentralschweiz. Welcome to this introduction for the SBB RABE 523 electric multiple unit in SBB livery. During this introduction we will go through the following procedures. Starting and stopping the train, coupling, loading and unloading. Climb aboard to get started. A lot of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. Switch the master key to unlocked to enable. The main headlights will automatically be turned on when the master key is set to unlocked. The throttle lever is split into two zones, Bremsen and Fahren. The RABE 523 is fitted with automatic couplers. Reverse into the 523 behind to test it out. The Bremsen zone controls the multiple units dynamic brake. The Fahren zone controls the power supplied to the traction motors. Drive the train into Luzern station using the throttle lever.
press the door release button. This multiple unit is equipped with two safety systems, eat. A manual can also be obtained that explains the full functionality and features of this multiple unit. Welcome to this introduction on the safety systems featured on the SBB RABE 523 multiple unit. Climb aboard to get started. Prepare the train for departure. Press the ETCS toggle button to initialize the safety mode the train will. Level STM covers any onboard safety systems other than ETCS on the train. The Integra Signum safety system is also installed on this train. More about how this works can be found in the manual. Turn, turn on ETCS level 1. Acknowledge that the system initializes in staff responsible mode. Once the train has passed a Belize, it will change to full supervision. When passing a signal that is warning us of a speed restriction is coming up, the onboard system will start calculating a brake curve the driver has to follow to ensure safe braking before the enforcing trackside signal. This is the same for speed board restrictions on the route.
closely enough, then the emergency brakes will be applied. That is the basics covered. More information on the safety systems used in the RABE 523 can be found in our manual.